en question. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. En... The court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today, the chamber hears testimony of a witness through TCW 953. And based on the request of the witness through VISU, the chamber provides Ms. Sakita as a duty counsel for the witness. Ms. Sakovuti, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals to today's proceedings. Ms. Sakovuti, please report the attendance of the parties Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunti is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the grave. The witness who is to testify today Le témoin de TCW 953 confirms that through her best knowledge, she has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused. There is no GNQ some form or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness took an oath before the Ayrton statue this morning, and she has Ms. Soksakita as her duty counsel. Thank you. Ms. Soksakita et son avocat de permanence. Je vous remercie. President, thank you, Ms. Sakoguti. The Chamber now decides on the request Merci, by Nunchir. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nunchir dated 28 November 2016, which states that due to his health that he's had back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his rights to be present at the 28th of November 2016 hearing. He advises that his counsel advised him about the consequence of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented to or admitted by this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nunchi by the duty doctor for the accused at ECCC, dated 28th November 2016, which notes that Today, Nunchi has a constant lower back pain and it becomes severe when he sits for long. I recommend that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs by and for Means. The chairman instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that no G can follow. That applies for the whole day. The chamber also has an oral ruling to be issued in relation to the testimony of a true TCW 953. It is an oral ruling on admission of prior statement and audio recording of this witness. Pursuant to the new guidelines established témoin. by the International Co-Investigating Judge for requesting disclosure from cases 003 and 004, on 4 November 2016, the International Co-Prosecutor made available by email to the Chamber and the other parties document B114-183, a written record of interview of 2 TCW 953. This witness is 
due to testify in cases 002 slash 02 during the role of the accused trial topic. The international court prosecutor subsequently also made available to the parties and the chamber the audio recording of the interview, the 114 slash 183R. On 7 November, November, the International Co-Investigating Judge authorized by email the disclosure of the 114-183 and the 114-183R to the parties in case 002, followed by a formal decision on 17 November 2016. There is the 100 slash 40. The Chamber recalls its practice to admit into evidence all prior statements of civil parties or witnesses who appear before it, pursuant to internal rules 87.3 and 87.4, and that it is in the interest of ascertaining the truth that, that the Chamber and parties have access to all of the statements of civil parties and witnesses who will be heard in case 002 E363-3, paragraph 25. The Chamber therefore admits on its own motion e to TCW 953's prior written record of interview, the 114-183, and assigns it document number E3-10721. The Chamber also recalls it, its recent decision that it will not generally admit all existing audio recordings of interviews. The Chamber may admit specific relevant parts of an audio recording where a party identifies a discrepancy between the audio recording and its corresponding written record of interview. There is E441 slash 2, paragraph 17. As no discrepancy between the audio recording and the written record of interview of 2TCW953 has been shown, the Chamber will not admit the 114 slash 183R into evidence at this stage. Court officer, please usher the witness and the duty counsel into the courtroom. Le témoin et son avocat permanent dans le prétoire. President, Le good Président. morning, Madame Witness. Bonjour, Madame Le Témoin. What is your name? Quel est votre nom? Witness, Le my Témoin. name is Bitburn alias Na. Bitburn alias Na.
Thank you, Madame Bedburn. Le Président, merci, Madame. And when were you born? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Witness. Réponse. I was born in 1950. Je suis né en 1950. Question: Where were you Question. born? Où êtes-vous né? Answer: It at Damru village, Damru commune, Kandastang district, Kandal province. province de Kandal. Question: Where Question. is your current address? Quelle est votre adresse à l'heure actuelle? Answer: Réponse. I still live in my Je native vis toujours village. dans mon village natal. Question, what Question. Is your current occupation? Quelle est votre profession à l'heure actuelle? Answer, I am a rice farmer. Je cultive du riz. Question, what are the names of Question. your parents? Quels sont les noms de vos parents? Answer, Réponse. my father is Bad Bu and père my mother is Bo Ai. Betbou et ma mère Bo Ai. Question: What Question. is your husband's name and Quel est le nom de votre mari et have? combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer: His name is Long Bun To. Il s'appelle Long We do Bun not have any children. Nous n'avons pas d'enfants. President, Le Président, the Greffier made an oral report that to your best knowledge, a indiqué que you are not related by blood or by law to any of the true accused, that is no G and Q support, or any of the civil parties admitted in this case. Is that information not correct? Yes, exact. Answer, yes, Réponse. it is correct. Oui. Question: Have you Question. taken an oath before the Iron Club statue before la you appear before the, the chamber? Avez-vous prêté serment devant la statue à la barre de fer avant de comparaître devant la chambre? Uh, yes, I have. Réponse: Oui. President, thank you. Merci. The chamber would like to inform you of your rights and obligations as a witness. Your rights. Madame Bedburn, as a Madame witness in the proceedings Bedburn, before the chamber, en tant que témoin, you may refuse to chambre, respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination. Your obligations as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, témoin, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comments to those questions may incriminate you as the chamber has just informed you of your right as a witness. You must tell the truth that you have known, heard, témoin, seen, remembered, experienced or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench or parties pose to you. En rapport avec une question posée par les juges ou toute partie. And Madame Witness, have you been interviewed by Madame investigators from the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges? Have you been interviewed by the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges? If so, how many times? When and where? And so, I was interviewed for uh, three times. J'ai été entendu trois fois. It was uh, held at Damru Village for two times, and one time it was at Psart Mai. Et la troisième fois, c'était à Psart Mai. Question. Question. And do you remember about those interviewers? Were they staff from this Khmer Rouge tribunal, or were they staff from the documentation center of Cambodia? Ou faisaient-ils partie du personnel du centre de documentation du Cambodge? Answer. It was staff from DCK. Réponse. C'était des membres du personnel Question. du CDCAM. Question. What about uh, the investigators from the ECC or the uh, Mayor's Tribunal for short? Ou du Were tribunal you questioned or interviewed by investigators from this court? Avez-vous été ou entendu par des enquêteurs de ce tribunal? Uh, 
and so I do not understand about the, the Khmer Rouge. Je ne comprends pas votre question sur le Khmer Rouge. Court is, uh, locally known le as the Khmer Rouge Tribunal. However, its full name is the Extraordinary Chamber in the Courts of Cambodia. So to uh, put it simply, it is a Khmer Rouge Tribunal that is uh, to try the Khmer Rouge leaders. On dit tribunal de Khmer Rouge, je change de juger les hautes régions de Khmer Rouge. Avez-vous donc été entendu par des membres du personnel de ce tribunal? And so, yes, I was met with the Khmer Rouge tribunal staff. Oui. Question: And do you recall when that happened? Question: Vous souvenez-vous quand cela s'est passé? And so it happened quite a long time ago, and I cannot recall the details. Réponse: C'était il y a longtemps. Je ne me souviens pas des détails. President, and before you appear before this chamber, have you reviewed avant de comparaître devant la chambre, or have you read out that is the return record of your previous interviews in order to refresh your memory? Vos PV d'audition afin de vous rafraîchir la mémoire. Answer: Yes, I read it. Réponse: Oui. President, thank you. The president, merci. And to your best knowledge, can you tell the chamber whether the written record of your interviews is consistent with what you told the interviewers? Rendre fidèlement compte de ce que vous avez dit aux enquêteurs. Réponse: Oui. President and Madame Batburn. You are now being assisted by the duty council through your request via WISU. À votre demande et par notre mise de l'unité d'appui aux témoins aux experts, maître Soksachata. And according to Rule 91B of the ECCC Internal Rules, the chamber hands the floor first to the co-prosecutors for questions through this witness before other parties and the combined time for the co-prosecutors and the elite co-lawyer through court sessions. You may proceed. Qui, avec les co-avocats principaux pour les parties civiles, disposeront de deux séances. Vous avez la parole. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. <coughs> thank you, Your Honours. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, good morning, Council. Merci, Honourable Juge. And good morning, good morning, witness. Bonjour, cher confrère. My name is Bonjour, uh, William Smith, témoin. Je and suis I'm William Smith. a prosecutor here today to ask you some questions about Mais what happened to you during the Khmer Rouge period. J'aimerais vous poser des questions sur ce qui and also what vous est arrivé sous le régime des Khmer Rouge, mais également avant. Why you joined the Khmer Rouge period? If you're not sure about a question or an answer, just say you're not sure. But if you are sure, if you can please provide the answer. Et lorsque vous en êtes sûr, veuillez simplement répondre. You told the president this morning that you were you were born and you were raised in Kandal Stung District in Kandal Province. And you said you were born in 1950. Can you tell the court when you joined the Khmer Rouge or the Revolution? Can you tell the court when you joined the Khmer Rouge or the Revolution? Can you tell the court when you joined the Khmer Rouge or the Revolution? Can you tell the court when you joined the Khmer Rouge or the Revolution? Can you tell the court when you joined the Khmer Rouge or the I joined the Khmer Rouge Revolution. Réponse. J'ai rejoint la révolution Khmer Rouge en 1971. And why did you join, and who asked you to join? Question. Pourquoi avez-vous rejoint la révolution et qui vous a demandé de le faire? Je ne sais pas. Uh, 
at the time there were réponse. revolutionaries who made an appeal to us to join the movement. Les révolutionnaires ont lancé un appel pour nous inviter uh, à rejoindre le mouvement. Oppose the Lunar regime. My apology, I, I mean to say Lunar, not the Khmer uh, regime. Nous opposer au régime de Lunar. And when you were asked to join Um, Question. What was your first job? What was your first assignment? Did you leave the place uh, of where you were born and where you lived? Avez-vous quitté votre Avez-vous dû quitter votre village natal, qui est également l'endroit où vous viviez? Ne pas. After I joined the revolution. Réponse. Après avoir rejoint la révolution, j'ai été envoyé dans la province de Kampongchnan. Question. Qu'avez-vous fait à votre arrivée dans la province de Kampongchnan Avez-vous été envoyé dans une unité Veuillez décrire à la chambre quelles étaient vos activités. Initially, I was sent to live in the local villagers' house to assist them in their rice farming. Avec des locaux pour les aider dans leurs travaux de riziculture. And did you leave your village by yourself, or did you leave with other people from your village to assist in the rice farming? Ou avec d'autres personnes de votre village pour aider à la riziculture. At that time, during the resistance movement, we were encouraged to join that movement with them. On nous a encouragé. Ils nous ont encouragé à rejoindre ce mouvement. And after you did some rice farming, were you given another job, another assignment? Vous a-t-on confié d'autres tâches? I worked in the rice field for a while, and then I was reassigned to a hospital. P twenty eight, P twenty eight, which was a pharmaceutical a hospital. Qui était un hôpital pharmaceutique. And what did you do at the hospital? Question. Qu'avez-vous fait à cet hôpital? We were told to dig three roots in order to boil them to produce medicine. To recover them, to produce them, to fabricate the medicines. And what was the medicine to be used for? À quoi devaient servir ces médicaments? Non. They were for the treatment of malaria, a fever, and of diarrhea. And after you worked at the hospital, did you get another job? After your sojourn in Camp Ongchnan, at the hospital, did you have another job? When you were at Camp Ongchnan. No, our task was to dig three roots. Our task consisted 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 to dig three roots. I was sent to work in the rice field at Tmoyu. Travailler at Tmoyu, à la rizière. And at one point, were you 
ordered to leave Camp Pontchenang. On vous a demandé de quitter Camp Pontchenang à un moment donné uh, pour aller combattre soldiers. les soldats de l'Onnol. No. In 1973, Réponse à 1973, our uh, group was sent to sector 15. a été envoyé au secteur 15. Dans votre déclaration faite aux enquêteurs, à la réponse 46, document E3, R1072-1, de 1, you stated that you were sent to sector 25 au secteur 25 in the Kobsrov area région de Kobsrov mountain. près de la montagne de Pasef. Cela vous rafraîchit la sent? mémoire quant au lieu où vous avez été envoyé. Yes, uh, that jogs my memory. Réponse oui. And when you were sent to Sector 25. Et vous a envoyé, um, at that time, had you joined 25, the army? Avez-vous rejoint l'armée à ce moment-là? Yes, I was part of uh, the army. Oui. Je faisais partie de l'armée. I was in uh, battalion 229. Et j'étais dans le bataillon. 229. Lorsque vous êtes arrivé à Kobsrov, um, quel travail deviez-vous faire Vous a-t-on demandé de vous battre, d'aider um, les soldats you tell us what you were asked to do? En quoi consistait votre travail At that time, Réponse. I was assigned uh, to carry gun à cette époque-là, on uh, m'a demandé de transporter unit, des armes au groupe 80. Dans le groupe 80. Um, were you also assigned um, um, to carry wounded soldiers de, as well? De transporter les soldats blessés, blessés. Yes, I did it. Oui. Question. And when the Khmer Rouge um, took over Phnom Penh on the 17th of April 1975, what did you do? Fait? What did your unit do? Fait votre unité? No, Chenam by the Prompimi. On seventeen April nineteen seventy five, my unit was in charge of uh, transporting ammunition to soldiers. And when you were working with um, the Khmer Rouge in Kobsrov area. Did you have a command position, or were you just a regular, a regular soldier? I was simply an ordinary soldier within the battalion. And your battalion uh, 229, was that men and women, or all men, or all men, or all women? Des hommes et des femmes, des hommes uniquement, ou des femmes uniquement. All were female. Il n'y avait que des femmes. And 
were you sent to Phnom Penh after the fighting had finished with the Lon Nol soldiers? After the fighting stopped, I mean the fighting with the Lon Nol soldiers stopped, my unit arrived in Phnom Penh at around 7 p.m. That was after people in the city had been evacuated. And what jobs were you given? When you arrived in Phnom Penh, where did you go and what job were you given? When we first arrived in Phnom Penh, my unit was sent to base at the stadium. And at the stadium, we were sent further to uh, do rice farming at Samrang on Diet, near uh, Po Chen Tong. And after we were sent to do rice farming at Po Chen Tong for a while, après que nous avons cultivé du riz pendant un certain temps à we were also sent to to Kilo, kilo, Matlay Pramui, kilo, Matlay or Pramui, kilometer number six, where we uh, sew the clothes. Où nous devions coudre des vêtements. And who did you sew clothes for? Question. Et pour qui cousiez-vous des vêtements? The pale nun. At that time, I was not close to anyone. I was simply uh, in my female unit. Simplement au sein de mon unité. But when we arrived in Phnom Penh, Mais lorsque nous sommes arrivés à Phnom Penh, I was within Division 801, that, is, that was the General Staff Command. And were you at the, uh, did you stay at the Olympic Stadium until uh, Norodom Sihanouk came back to Cambodia? Yes, I remained based at the stadium. Je suis resté basé. And I was also assigned to sew clothes in order to supply to soldiers. And I, I was also assigned to sew clothes for the Samdatta or the King Father. And then did you leave the stadium and start work at uh, Tools Vay Prey uh, and at the Tultumpong area? au bout de la zone de Toutampon, du quartier de Toutampon. Yes, after I received the King Father or Samdatta, Après avoir accueilli Samdatta, le roi père, my unit was unité sent to be based uh, near the Chinese Embassy près de in Tuls Waipray. We were also uh, still sewing clothes, Nous but we were also sent to uh, do rice farming uh, in Stung Mien Chai. Um, one of the uh, a historian who's given some evidence um, uh, at this court, who's written a book, that's E3-2376, ERN. English 0019-2228, Khmer 0019-1354, 
and French 00236947. And this historian has said that Norodom Siano came back to Phnom Penh on the 9th of September 1975. Does that refresh your memory as to when you left the Olympic Stadium? vous avez quitté le stade olympique. I do not understand your question. Uh, when, when did you, when did uh, Norodom Sihanouk arrive question. in à Cambodia? Do you remember the date uh, and the year and the month? I cannot recall the date, but I uh, would like to tell you that I uh, went to receive him at the airport. And when you went um, to work near the Chinese embassy um, to sow clothes and, and cultivate rice, how long were you still were you still with your unit, Battalion 229? Yes, I remained uh, oui. in Battalion 229. Je suis resté dans le bataillon 229. And then were you asked to leave Question. Battalion 229 and uh, join 29 the Ministry of Commerce? Le ministère du Commerce. Yes, in 1977, Anka assigned me to join the Ministry of Commerce. And do you remember the month in 1977 when you were asked to join the Ministry of Commerce? It was in July. C'était en ju en juillet. And when you joined the Ministry of Commerce, Question what was your first assignment? du Commerce, quelle a été votre première tâche? I was in charge of uh, collecting products, Je devais aller including coffee uh, grains, comme par exemple, les graines de café, les graines de café, and other products. Et d'autres produits. And what area were you working in when you joined um, Question, et où um, the à ce Ministry of Commerce? Au moment où vous avez rejoint le ministère du Commerce. Geographical area. We're still living uh, near the Chinese embassy. Est-ce que vous êtes toujours à de l'ambassade de Chine? Initially, I was based at Sacha. J'étais au Sacha. And then, puis, Anka sent me to base at Tultumpung Pagoda. Anka m'a envoyé pour être basé à la pagode Tultumpung. And what unit uh, did you join in the Ministry of Commerce at uh, Tultumpung Pagoda? Vous rejoint au sein du ministère de commerce à la pagode de Tultumpung. At the Ministry of Commerce, I was uh, assigned to be chief of the unit. 
And were you working in the domestic commerce office at that time? Est-ce que c'était un bureau de commerce national? C'est long. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Réponse, oui. And what unit, what was the name of the unit Question that you were put in charge of? Le nom de l'unité dont vous étiez responsable. It had no designated number. It was simply a unit within the ministry. Um, in your statement to the investigators, um, at answer number 153, you said you were the chairperson of the product sorting section. Is that correct? Yes, as I told you earlier, I was in charge of sorting products. Um, you mentioned coffee. What types of other products were you sorting? I sorted coffee beans. Réponse. Je triais. And what about uh, cotton? Question. Et, le, et du coton? I do not understand your question. Um, as part of that job, Dans were you also travail, employed in packing cotton? cotton? No. No. I was uh, simply uh, in, uh, responsible for peeling kapok. J'étais simplement responsable de moudre the, du kapok. After the kapoks uh, had been peeled, they Une were put into bags. Était prêt, nous le placions à l'intérieur de sacs. And as part of that job, did you work at the um, kapok? Cotton Collection Factory at Takmao. Est-ce que vous avez travaillé dans une usine à Takmao de Kapok? regarding that point. Je n'en sais rien. But what I can tell you is that dire, uh, after the kapok had been peeled, they were put into bags, prêt, alors nous le and uh, we put bags uh, on top of each other. Nous ces sacs. Each bag uh, was more than 100 kilo kilograms. Pesait plus de 100 kilo. Thank you. Um, well, just, if Question. I can just refer Merci. to um, the statement that uh, you gave to uh, DC Cam, the Documentation Centre of Cambodia, and this was in um, December 2002, and at um, Khmer ERN 00054410, and French 00332588, and English uh, en anglais, 00 640171. Um, when you were interviewed in 2002, um, you were asked this question, um, 
what did you do at the other factory? On vous demande, que and you answered, dans les autres I had worked at the K-pop cotton dites, collection place for a while. À I was sent, le le sent to work before, I was sent to work at the domestic commerce unit where my work was to prepare products for exporting. Des pour les à Question, where was that commerce unit? Question, the commerce unit was in the Tultumpong area. Et vous répondez, ce bureau de commerce uh, where was the K-pop cotton de collection Tultumpong. place? Question, the K-pop place was near the bridge in Takmao. La compression des Kapok se trouvait à Takmao. What did they do with the K-pop cotton? Pourquoi they compressed it into a ball shape of 100 kilos. On compressait les grandes balles de Kapok. What year did you work in that place? Une balle pesait environ 100 kilos. I forget. I do not Question, recall what year it was. Réponse, en quelle année j'ai oublié. How many how many years had you been a seamstress in Tulton Pond before you were sent to work at the K-pop collection place? You said long time. Et vous and the assez question, longtemps. how many years or months? Vous I was there for a while and then moved to the commerce place. Restez, how many months moment, were you at the K-pop cotton collection place? On vous ensuite, Less than one year. Combien de mois avez-vous travaillé à l'atelier de compression des capocs Vous répondez, ça n'a pas duré Does un an. That refresh your memory as to working at um, a K-pop cotton collection place Est-ce que cela vous rappelle que Tacmao? vous avez travaillé dans un atelier de compression de capoc à Takmao I went to work at the Kapok cotton collection place in Takmao for less than one year. And after that, did you then commence work at Tultumpong in the product sorting section? de tri des produits. I uh, was at Tultumpong at Tultumpong uh, before I was assigned to the K-pop cotton collection place. But although we were uh, at Two different places. We were within the same uh, unit. Mais nous étions dans la même unité. Thank you. And then it, Question, later, were you taken ensuite, and sent to uh, Kok Sak Pagoda à la pagode in Kandal province? Dans la province de Kandal. Yes. Réponse, oui. I, later on, I was sent to Wat Kok Sat or Kok Sat Pagoda. Été envoyé à Wat Kok Sat. And when were you sent there? What Question. year? Question. And why were you sent there? Et pourquoi? Yum. I cannot recall the year. Uh, it was after Sao Pem had been arrested. I was sent to do rice farming, to harvest rice. So it was after the arrest of uh, Ta Hong and others that I was sent to uh, that place. Que envoyé à cet endroit. And who was Ta Hong? Question, qui était Ta Hong? Ta Hong? Ta Hong? was a person in charge of uh, an office at the Ministry of Commerce. And was he your supervisor? He was 
Tarot d'Apchiti. C'était l'adjoint de Tarot. The uh, chief was Tarot. Le chef, and the deputy was Tahong. Tahong. And what was Tarit's position? What Question. was his title? Quel était le titre officiel, la fonction officielle de Tarot? Tarot Guanmin. Tarot was the chief of commerce in charge of uh, both domestic and uh, overseas commerce. Du commerce intérieur et du commerce également avec l'étranger. And Ta Hong, what was he in charge of? Et Ta Hong, de quoi était-il responsable? <laughs> he was Tarot's deputy. Il était adjoint de Tarot. And why was Ta Hong arrested? Question. Pourquoi Ta Hong a-t-il été arrêté? I do not know the reason behind that. J'ignore la raison à l'origine de son arrestation. Was um, Ta Hong uh, implicated Question. Um, as being a traitor? Tarong a-t-il été impliqué? A-t-il été considéré comme traître? Yeah. God. Yes. Réponse. Oui. He was implicated as a traitor. Il a été impliqué comme traître. And he was arrested at his office. Et il a été arrêté à son bureau. Did you see him Question. being arrested? L'avez-vous vu se faire arrêter? No, I did not witness the incident with my own eyes, but I knew that he disappeared. Um, were you married at the time? Question. À cette époque -là, when Ta Hong marié, was arrested, were you married? Ta Hong a été arrêté. Est-ce que vous étiez marié? At the time of Ta Hong's arrest, Réponse. I à was already married. Ta Hong, déjà marié. I got married in October. In 1977. And what was your husband's job? Question. What can we? He did not hold any position. Il n'avait aucune fonction particulière. He was a driver for Ta Hong. Il était chauffeur de Ta Hong. And what happened to your husband? Question. Qu'est-il arrivé à votre mari? I did not know. Réponse, je n'en sais rien. After Tahong was arrested, Après he was also arrested. Tahong, lui aussi a été arrêté. How did you find out that your husband was arrested Question. as well? Comment avez-vous appris que votre mari avait lui aussi été arrêté? Because he was also at the Ministry of Commerce. Réponse parce qu'il était lui aussi au ministère du Commerce. Did you see your husband being arrested, or did someone tell you about that? Question. Did someone tell you about that?
I did not hear about his arrest, but he himself told me that he would be sent away. Um, have you seen your husband Question. again since working at the Ministry of Et Commerce? Au du Commerce No, we never met each other again. Nous ne nous plus and did Ta Hong Question. have a wife? and children, and what happened to them? Ta Hong had a wife and grandchildren. And all of them were also arrested and taken away. They were arrested even before the arrest of my husband. Ils ont été arrêtés avant même l'arrestation de mon mari. And then why were you sent to a Kok Sak pagoda? Question. Et ensuite pourquoi avez-vous été envoyé à la pagode de Kok Sak? I did not know. However, I was not the only one who was sent there. There were many of us since the two buses were full. And when you arrived at Koksak Pagoda, were there other people there as well? Yes, there were many people there. The pagoda was full of people. La pagoda était pleine de personnes. You mentioned in your interview at um, E31072 that answer 171. You were asked the question. Can you explain further what was the purpose of Coxsack Pagoda? And you said it was a tempering office. Other, other, others have said people had been taken to be killed at Slang Pagoda. That's 173. You said there were many people at Coxsack Pagoda, probably transported in about 30 trucks. Qui avait été transporté à bord de 30 camions, deux camions chinois, les ont emmenés là-bas pendant assez longtemps, une période de temps assez longue. Cela vous rafraîchit-il la mémoire au sujet du fait que vous et d'autres avez été amenés à la pagode de Coxsack? I did not know uh, that. Réponse. However, every day, two trap loads were, of people were Toutefois, sent away, jour, and sometimes uh, there were two trips per day. Étaient envoyées à bord de deux camions and Ils when I asked around, uh, those people were the wives of uh, divisional jour. commanders or the wives of uh, regimental commanders. Plus, uh, Des commandants de régiment. And did those people tell you um, what had happened to their husbands? Question. Et ces personnes vous ont-ils dit ce qui est arrivé à leur mari? None of us uh, knew the reason. Aucune d'entre nous. However, at uh, that location, 
There was a mixture of male and female to a broad end. Mais à cet endroit, tant les hommes et les femmes, tant les hommes que les femmes, How long did you stay at um, Koksak Pagoda? How many weeks or months? Question. Combien de mois ou de semaines avez-vous passé à la pagode de Tampoksa? I remained uh, living there until the Réponse. end of the harvest season. Je suis resté jusqu'à la fin de la saison de la moisson. Then the uh, Khmer Rouge transported us Ensuite, by vehicles uh, to board a train at some round on that station. Pour, uh, la, and we were sent off uh, on that train to Kampong Chinan province. Nous, nous and à la province de uh, in your train. statement, you state that you were sent Dans to Kampong Chinan airfield. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. La réponse oui, c'est exact. Uh, my friend, uh, my colleague will ask you some questions about that a little later. Ma But collègue, can I ask you some vont questions vous poser des questions à ce sujet um, about, um, study sessions Mais pour le moment, je vais uh, with, poser des questions sur les séances with the Communist Party of Kampuchea. Uh, you said that organisé par le PCK. Well, did you become a full member? of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. Êtes-vous devenu membre de plein droit du Parti communiste du Kampuchea? Yes. La réponse oui. I became a, a party member of the Communist Party of uh, Kampuchea. Membre du PCK. Bah. Maybe my wording is not accurate, but it was uh, the party uh, belonging to Pol Pot. President. Le parti Madame Witness, the uh, question is whether you le became président. a party member Madame during Lutemont, the regime. La question était celle de savoir si vous avez été membre du parti sous le régime. Answer yes, I was a member. Réponse oui, j'étais membre. And I uh, became a member in 1977. Je suis devenu membre en 1977. And as a member, did you attend um, assisté avec d'autres membres party? du parti aux séances d'études du PCK? Yes, I attended uh, study la sessions réponse, oui, with other uh, party members of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. And here I refer to the Pol Pot uh, Communist Party. Je parler du parti communiste de Pol Pot. Um, and did you attend study sessions uh, when there were other leaders à des séances of the Communist Party present. en présence d'autres dirigeants du PCK. Yeah. Yes. Réponse oui. Uh, there were. Pol Pot was the chief. Il y avait Pol Pot, le chef. And uh, the deputy was Nunchir. Son adjoint Nunchir. And uh, Members were Kyo Sampong et les membres Kyo Sampong et Ying Sari for the Ministry of et Foreign Sari Affairs pour le ministère des Affaires and étrangères Ying Terat for the Ministry of Social Ying Affairs Ying Terat pour le ministère des Affaires Sociales. How many times did you attend these study sessions? Combien de fois avez-vous assisté à ces séances d'études? Of the party were there. En présence des dirigeants du parti. I 
J'ai participé à deux séances d'études. C'était des sessions essentielles. And how long did these study sessions uh, last for? Was it a few hours, a day, a Quelle few days, a week? Session? Quelques heures par jour, quelques jours par semaine. Each study session lasted for three days. Chaque session d'étude durait trois jours. And who were the main speakers Question. at the study sessions? Quels étaient les principaux Did any of the senior leaders speak séances? at these study sessions? Les hauts dirigeants ont-ils pris la parole? During study sessions, uh, Pol Pot was the one who opened the, the sessions. C'est Pol Pot qui ouvrait la séance. And uh, later on, the uh, the deputy and suite, members. L'adjoint et les membres. Prenez la parole à leur tour. When you say the deputy, who are you referring Lorsque to? vous dites l'adjoint, à qui faites-vous référence? As I stated a while ago, Comme je dit tantôt, those people were uh, Pol Pot, Nuntia, Kyusampon, etc. Etc. Um, in your uh, interview with DC Cam, at E3567, uh, uh, English 00640152, French en français, or Khmer 0005 4389 in French, 00332572. Uh, you were asked um, who was the speaker at these study sessions, Kusan Pan or Nguyen Chia, and you stated Nguyen Chia was the teacher. At these study sessions, did Q Sampan speak Lors de ces séances or not speak? de formation, Q Sampan a-t-il oui ou non pris la parole? He also used to speak. La réponse. Il a souvent pris la parole. When the chief uh, made a, a speech, then the, the uh, member and uh, the deputy will be allowed also uh, parole, uh, to comment or to supplement uh, the presentation made by the chief. Commentaires ou apporter un complément au discours du chef. At these study sessions, uh, do you remember Question. which Lors leaders spoke the most? Quel dirigeant a le plus pris la parole? The person who spoke the most was Pol Pot. Réponse. C'était Pol Pot. You said you went to two study sessions. Question. Vous dites avoir assisté pendant trois jours. Over two years. Sur deux ans. Two lots of three days. Um, what were you taught? Deux séances de formation. For all of those days. Qu'avez-vous reçu comme enseignement? Taught of us about the uh, political organization, about the work leadership, the direction, the 
and I uh, cannot uh, recall the, the details of the content. Je ne me souviens pas des détails ni du contenu. Uh, they actually taught the contents of the revo revolutionary flag magazines. Ils nous ont donné le contenu de la revue. Did they talk about um, the ideology of the party Question and the ideology? L'idéologie du parti. Um, and the situation in relation to enemies of the party. Et la situation concernant les ennemis du parti. They did. They spoke Réponse. about the enemy activities. Oui, ils ont parlé des activités des ennemis. And did they say who Question. the enemies were? Ont-ils dit qui était l'ennemi ou qui étaient les ennemis He did not uh, say who the enemies were. Non. Ils n'ont pas identifié However, les ennemis. However, he says that sometimes the enemies were our parents Mais or our relatives, and did we dare to smash those enemies parents, if our parents were the enemies? Et nous devions les écraser, même si nos parents étaient les ennemis. Ah, Akun. President, thank you. It is now a convenient time for a short break. We we'll take a break now and resume at 10.30. Court officer, please assist the witness at the waiting room reserved for witnesses during the break time and invite her as her answer to the counsel back into the courtroom at 10.30. The court is now in recess. Thank you for the audience at 10.30. Suspension of the audience.